have to admit, this whole thing is making me exhausted. There was a battle royale in this Facebook group yesterday, which is now called Burn the DNC, General Strike, The Struggle Continues. Fiorella Isabel, who has been featured on Jimmy Dore lately as a grassroots agitator, started a coup in this group. Jimmy featured some of this clip on his show. They put Joe Biden, one of the worst candidates, if not the worst candidate we've ever had, in place. And they want people who will capitulate to that. And if the Sanders campaign, whatever's left of it, is going to do that, is going to only force people who are going to be tame and not speak out and not be against that, guess what? I don't want to be a part of that. So here's a little backstory. Don Mersel is the founder of the Facebook group in question. Turns out Don Mersel has a number of Facebook profiles, and I was friends with another one, and then he friend requested me with this one, so we started a little conversation about it. Second profile? Yes, we are friends on the second one. And then he showed me his other one, and I said to him, You do good work. Thanks. You are amazing, too. Thanks. The DNC is doing it again with this large field of candidates that will make the ballot go to a second round and superdelegates giving it to Biden or Harris. Yep, the fix is in. Truck driving gives you time to think. Yes, there's that, but hopefully I can stick to professoring this year. He then quoted an article that I wrote on Medium. What is a pino? It's not a dad joke. Example, what do you get when you cross an elephant with a rhinoceros? Elephino! A pino is a progressive in name only. John Stauber, the progressive movement is a PR front for rich Democrats, is not the only one who makes the case that faux progressivism is controlled opposition for third way neoliberal centrism. I watched not only Bernie Sanders, but also Elizabeth Warren, Cenk Uger, and Seth Abramson endorse an arch neoliberal for president. I swallowed hard a couple of times and then said, fuck it and vomited until I felt better. Apparently, Don liked that quote. He said, that's good stuff. I taught science for 36 years, but I've always wanted to write a book. As you'll see in a moment, it's interesting that he liked this quote. So as he looked at my Facebook profile, he noticed that I'm a music professor. He said, your musical background also is good for thinking and relaxation and causing trouble is what I said. That's the last thing they want, a general population who has time to think. George Carlin knew. They want us working and busy watching the Super Bowl and unreality TV. No thinking. It is a dangerous pursuit. You know it. So as you can see, we were getting along swimmingly. This group I'm talking about, he said, I sent an invite to become a moderator if you should want to post your writings and other things. I'd love that. Great, and there are enough people to vet and monitor the new people who want to be members, also fake profiles, but you can check when you are engaged in posting. Awesome, it's an honor, thanks again. And then we have the Bernie dance. Then I said, hi Don, I just noticed this. And I won't zoom in on it so the names will be protected, but it said, that they were removing some of my posts. So some of the admins and moderators who turn out to later to be neoliberal sock puppets were, were a little nervous about my Bernie or Bust posts. Then we started to get administrators posting vote blue no matter who bullshit in this Bernie group. So I said, David Bullock, I won't protect his name. David Bullock is an administrator, a vote blue administrator in this Bernie group that Don Mersel runs. And I asked about it. So here, here I'll zoom in on this one. I'm a 100% Bernie supporter and was even a delegate for him in 2016. This is David Bullock talking and voted for Jill that year. But now that I've seen what Trump is truly like, I've been studying him closely for about three and a half years. I fear Trump more than anything, including the oligarchs behind the DNC. If we allow Trump to win in 2020, he will become either Mussolini or Hitler. And we will see death camps for immigrants and Muslims wearing or carrying ID cards like the yellow stars the Jews had to wear in Germany. 
Trump is now at about the same place Hitler was in 1932 or 1933 before he fully consolidated power. If he wins, we'll have Ruth Ginsburg die at some point and probably one other Supreme Court justice retire, and he'll have full control of the Justice Department and the third branch of government to rubber stamp anything he does. We will lose all our freedoms as well as all our rights, such as civil, abortion, voting, etc. We are in the middle of a hyper crisis. We must vote blue even if the candidate is dog shit, because dog shit is better than outright fascism. We are idiots shooting ourselves in the feet if we think we can do Bernie or bust and come out and still have another chance to win in 2024. I don't know why they would let a vote blue person be an admin of this page. She show mighty. She show mighty indeed. This is just classic fear mongering that the vote blue bots do in Bernie groups. Too many Hitlers in the room. And the Supreme Court stuff, we rebutted that with a Jimmy Dore excerpt earlier in one of the other episodes of this show. The gist of that show was that the Republicans and the Democrats have worked together for a long time to make sure that the Supreme Court is rigged in favor of conservative assholes. The Democrats have done their part in that rigging. And after I pointed that out to Don, nothing was said. Silence. He didn't say anything for weeks. And then yesterday, there was a skirmish in the group. Fiorella hacked the group and started kicking out the blue dog Democrats. She started kicking out the neoliberal admins, and she even tried to kick Don out, which apparently upset him. Now, for the record, I was helping with this coup, and I'm all in favor of it because I don't like sheepdogs. I don't like controlled opposition. I don't like people who pretend to be progressive, but then tell us to vote blue no matter who. That shit has to stop. So Don, if you're watching this, if you think my work is so good, this is a proof. Your bullshit has to stop. Sheepdogging for the DNC has to stop. This control freak in the group, John Stevenson Saba, he has other aliases in there too, is really awful. He's one of the neolib people who promote vote blue no matter who in a Bernie group. This was his post four hours ago. Actually, it's been about five hours now. For those wondering why the name of the group changed, we were attacked yesterday by Fiorella Isabel and a group of her friends. Essentially, a hostile takeover. They managed to remove many of the admins and even the founder of the group. Didn't work. We have screenshots of all the perps involved. That was a total lowlife thing to do to us. So what's more lowlife, John? Trying to shut down a group that is working directly for the DNC or being an admin in a group that is trying to hoodwink the people into voting for a corrupt party. So this was Don's reaction. Fiorella blocked my admins and my other profile. Whoa, if she'd been able to get his first profile out of there, we would have been able to take over that group and shut it down so it doesn't continue to hoodwink innocents. This group has over 100,000 people in it, and a lot of them don't understand politics very well. They know they like Bernie, but then they have these sheepdogs in here like John and the others. Not Don. Don never actively does the sheepdogging, but his paid sheepdoggers do it. And they get in there and they tell the unsuspecting sheep that because Bernie isn't the nominee, we have to vote blue. We have to vote for the rapist Biden. And the people in the group weren't having it yesterday. There were a lot of revolting comments saying, hey, no, we're not voting for a rapist. Needless to say, I'm not in that group anymore. Don goes on to say, She got stuck when she tried to block me. I am the creator of the group. I need to tell you up front, Don. I always have been and always will be Bernie or bust. I can't support Biden under any circumstances. I can't support sheepdogging either. And then he starts typing in all caps. When she blocked Jane Sanders and Michael Rushnak, we went into crisis mode. She was removed from all of my groups, blocked from ever posting in my groups, and all my friends in other groups do not trust her with anything. She might be on the right side of history, but she just made herself history. I posted in the group before I was booted, before the, the fracas happened, I posted that she was on the right side of history because she's trying to kick out all of the sheepdoggers. I then asked Don, which side will you be on? So then he just 
changed the subject. He said he's proud to be a producer of this epic new documentary, Bernie Blackout on Vice. And then still in all caps, he says, I am on the side of truth and being able to be trusted. What about Biden? I said, can he be trusted? She and her group did something that the Sanders campaign will never forgive. What? And then he's changing the subject again. Tonight on Vice, we are premiering the movie, Bernie Sanders, The Blackout. But I wasn't going to be distracted. So I said, was it what she said on the Jimmy Dore show? No, she is allowed to have her opinion. She is allowed to have her opinion. And we posted the Convo Couch on this group whenever she did a video. Fiorella is the host of the Convo Couch on YouTube. Don said, I liked her work, but she blocked me, changed the name of the group without my permission, and she can do what she wants outside of my Facebook presence. I have over 300,000 members in all my groups, and I am the admin in groups that I don't actively run. So think about that for a minute. He's got over 300,000 people in groups that are trying to get them to vote blue no matter who. There's got to be some way to undo this horrible chicanery. I don't see why people who like Bernie would think that voting for Biden is okay. No more than voting for Hillary is okay. And in the final analysis, no more than voting for Barack Obama or Bill Clinton was okay. Although we didn't know it at the time. And how will we ever know it if we have all of these narrative managers messing with our minds? So then I asked him, how do you feel about the sheepdogging that has been going on in this group? And of course, he's not going to answer that. But she will never have access to any of those groups because she cannot be trusted. So she had some access to those 400,000 people, as did I. And now we don't anymore. And it's because sheepdogs like Don are running a lot of the huge Bernie groups. And the people in the groups don't even realize that they're being operated by DNC operatives. I told him, most of all, I don't trust sheepdogs. And he said, the group needs to get things right, but Fiorella blocked me and then tried to sabotage the group. There is nothing worse in a revolutionary period than that. Oh yeah, Don, there's nothing worse than calling out the controlled opposition because then it exposes you. So again, I try to hold him accountable for the sheepdogging. Have you noticed what admins are posting? They are telling us to vote blue, classic lesser evilism. They are saying we need to vote Biden because he is not as evil as Trump. If that's what you and this group are about, count me out. And then he said, still shouting, would you rather be blocked in your own group and treated this way or have an open discussion? And I said, and you can block me. I have no interest in sheepdogging. I want an open discussion, but we have to make it clear that voting for neoliberalism is evil. At that point, Don changed the chat theme to Barry. It's very beautiful. I said, why are we Barry? That must be the color of your enemies. And then he stopped responding. He's still on my friend list. I guess he likes to keep an eye on me. This is wrong. Sheepdogging. It harms so many people when prominent voices have sold out the working class all along. You are acting on behalf of the oligarchs when you sheepdog. That's what I told Don. So if you are a member of that group and you don't like to be complicit in the sheepdogging, I wouldn't tell you to leave that group, but I would say to join this group also. This is a group I just made this morning. Burn the DNC. The struggle continues. Revenge of the grassroots operatives. Now, I doubt we can get up to 100,000 people in this group or 400,000 people in our network of groups, but at least this group isn't evil. And if we can build up the viewership of people who are telling you, you don't have to vote for Biden, like Crystal Ball, she says, you can leave it blank. Or like Kyle Kalinske, he says, hey, they haven't persuaded me to vote for Biden because he doesn't support any of my issues. While neither of them are openly calling it Bernie or bust, that's pretty much what it is. You should especially join this new group if you've been shunned by anyone you know for being actively Bernie or bust or never Biden. So this is discouraging. I had access to 100,000 people that I don't have access to now. And I feel like that's part of the big plan. The people who want to stir up the sheep and help them to run for the fences and jump over them are not welcome in these big burning groups. And I, I don't know what to do about it. If you have suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. 
or send me a message on Facebook. We'll have a nice chat. I could use some encouragement. 